Hi, I'm Lisa for ImageLine in FL Studio, and today I'm going to be discussing a brand new generator that was released in FL Studio 5 called the FPC, and how easy and fun it is to use in your virtual studio. The FPC is a new and exciting addition to FL Studio, a drum machine with 16 pads that can each be loaded with multi-sampled drum samples. This is a great tool for quickly laying down a new drum pattern and then hearing what it would sound like with different kits or samples. And used in conjunction with FL Studio's new loop recording feature, you can simply and easily build a complicated drum pattern in no time at all. Now one of the best things about the FPC is that the FPC is set up to work out of the box with a Kai's MPD-16 pad controller. As soon as you connect your MPD to your computer, and assign it as your MIDI controller in FL Studio, all you have to do is add the FPC to your project and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to record a simple kick drum pattern with FL Studio in loop record mode so I can add more complexity later. First, I have to enable loop record. For this, I need to go up near the top of FL Studio and click the button next to the R and arrow icon. Then. I don't want FL Studio to start recording until I hit my first note, so I will click the button next to the keyboard icon that says wait underneath it. Then click the record button and the play button and I'm ready to go. First, a simple kick drum pattern. Now I'll add some snare. And on two hi-hats. And now a tom fill. And a crash. As you can see, I added more on each loop of the pattern, and because of the multi-samples in FPC and the MPD's ability to send velocity, I can make the drum pattern sound very realistic. Not only is the FPC a very powerful new tool for your music, but combined with a MIDI 4x4 pad controller such as the Akai MPD-16, you literally have the power at your fingertips.